Ship. Set a course for the Paradise Tower Penthouse, Cetus. Setting course. Paradise Tower Penthouse, Cetus. No signal. Ship, lower the cargo ramp. Lowering cargo ramp. I wonder who we have here. The design does not appear in any known databases. There must be some way to find out more information about where this came from. Captain? Yeah, Mac? Outbound communications dropped out on the way here. Continued attempts to re-establish have failed. Antenna probably got knocked about during re-entry. Book the ship in for a proper service. Affirmative, Captain. Who the hell are you? The real question is, who are you, Captain Cassini? We never thought they'd turn you of all people. I haven't turned anywhere, mate. You're quite convincing, but we know for a fact you've been passing them information. Because of your efforts, they've made more progress in the last 24 hours than we have in the last five years. Cooperate with us, and we'll make sure your family is cared for. Who is your contact there? Jokes on you, mate. I've been working with your goons here. Take him out, girls. It's the Mac. The Mac is bugged. That is impossible. Drop it. <laughs> Mac! Are uh, you okay? You really took a dive there. Maybe you should stick to the smaller waves. Vin? Captain? Captain? Mac, status? Glad to see you're awake, Captain Cassini. Sorry about Blanca. She tends to be a bit heavy-handed. I only gave him a tap. Who would have known he was so soft? What happened to Mac? Your Mac unit was bugged. I've removed the bug and run a queen. Should be as good as new. Who the hell are you? Name's Bishop, Thomas Bishop. And my colleagues are Jet and Blanca. Hey. Hmm? 
What's going on here? We work for the Federation. Bishop? Are you really sure about this? Do you have to ask, Jet? You guys are feds? Mm-hmm. We've been working a case in this system for the last five years. Been doing field work for the last year. You were gonna kill me. Sometimes we have to kill one in order to save thousands. It doesn't happen often, but this time we got it wrong. I'm sorry. We would have looked after your family if you had turned but decided to cooperate. Screw you. I didn't deserve to be treated like that. Say the word, Bishop. Stand down, B. I do hope we can move past this in time. So, what happens now? Well, you've managed to make more progress on this case in 24 hours than we have in the last five years. Which either makes you really good or really lucky. Right place at the right time, I'd say. Either way, we could use you on this case. You haven't said what you're actually working on here. During the Seton War, many Setons disappeared, as you know. We thought they'd been captured, but after the Lokans were forced to surrender, we found no records of them. Now, war is confusing and messy, and information gets lost. But records from that time show around... 10,000. Yeah. Around 10,000 people, Cedans, unaccounted for. Too many to write off as a casualty of war. I looked for them. I'm sure. I mean, not right away. I couldn't. I returned from the Loken system to a different kind of war. We were reduced to a bunch of ships clinging to the orbit of our ruined planet. Resources were running out. People were scared. It was all I could do to stop us from killing each other. When the dust settled, I started looking, but there was nothing. Less than nothing. No evidence, no leads, nothing. Until now. What do you know? We believe there are at least three more facilities, like the one you found, somewhere in Cetus's orbit. These facilities are suspected to contain the missing Cetans. What do you know about these facilities? We recovered plans for a large orbital storage facility with some advanced stealth tech. Zetan tech. You'd never find it unless you ran right into it. The schematics show that these were to be fitted out with thousands of stasis chambers, the kind they use on deep space exploration. Like an ark of some kind. An invisible prison. What makes you think there were four facilities? A naive calculation on our part. The plans we found show capacity for two and a half thousand stasis chambers. There are about 10,000 Cedans unaccounted for, ergo. Unless they just spaced them and we never found the bodies. Then you found a literal number four stamped on one of the facilities. Loken order and efficiency makes them predictable and weak. What makes you think the facilities are orbiting Cetus? We went through all the flight data we were able to recover, but we lost a lot when the Lokans flooded the planet. We found unusual logs for personnel transports. They would leave the planet, disappear, then reappear a while later and return. We took an aggregate of the logs and determined their destinations were the same relative distance as Cetus's ring. The facilities are in the ring? The ring is merely a reference for visualization of the problem space. The data suggests they could be orbiting in a thick shell. Another visual aid for you. Between 75 and 105% the distance of the ring. You'd get on well with Mac. Why would the Lokans kidnap a bunch of us? We can only speculate. They were probably running some kind of experiment. I say they're leverage. It's a common source of disagreement among us. 
You've been working this case for five years? I've held on to this case since the war ended. So I guess that puts it at almost 10. But I was only able to acquire the resources to reopen it five years ago. That's when I got a hold of it. Jet was able to tease out some hard data that fit my theories. If you were wrong, I would have proven it. The Locans have been looking for a way into Cetus for years now. When Nebula Ventura moved in a year ago, we set up here. I knew Nebula Ventura had something to do with this. The mining company is headed by an ex Loken general. Their security has a military feel to it, all right. Their activity doesn't make good business sense either. They're here to mine the ring, but rather than concentrate on the larger asteroids, they're evenly spreading out. They're looking for something. Given your recent experience, I can see how you arrived there so quickly. I had no trouble getting resources from the Federation to set up a base here as soon as they arrived. The Federation doesn't know you're looking for missing Setons, do they? I feel better about not killing you now. Does that matter to you, Cassini? You and me, Bishop. We're the same. I'm glad you feel that way. I've heard enough. So, we can count on you? I'm in as far as finding those people. That's what we're here for. And this is off the books? Right. So how do you want to do this? Shall we dive straight in? Let's get on with it. My thoughts exactly. How can I help find those facilities? Whenever you discover information that might help narrow down their position, add it to the computer. If you discover a potential location, investigate. These facilities are hidden. So how do we find them? As someone who's already found one, you're the expert here. You want me to bug Nebula Ventura? I have no doubt they're here to cover up their actions from the Seed in War. We need an insight into their communications to get to the facilities before they do. Our best chance is to get a bug in the office of General Kuznetsov. The General is posing as Vasily Volkov, Managing Director of Nebula Ventura. They have a refinery out in the ring that serves as their base of operations. See Jet for the bug. Thanks for the intel. So tell me about yourself. Let's keep things professional. Right. Later, Bishop. By the way, we took precautions with some of your things. Jet, see the captain gets his things back? Okay, Bishop. Status report. Attempting to discover the location of a second facility, similar to the one Ariela described. Okay, then. Jet, is it? Yes, Captain Cassini. Call me Vince. Okay, Vince. About these objectives. Bishop mentioned bugging Nebula Ventura. Here, take this. You'll want to get it in General Kuznetsov's office, as close as you can to his computer. He operates out of a refinery in the rocks. Anything I should know about it? Don't let him see it? Thanks. 
Where do I put this bug? In General Kuznetsov's office, as close as you can to his computer. He operates out of a refinery in the rocks. How am I going to find these facilities? If you find any new information, send it to our computer. The computer can use our existing data to narrow down the probability space. You said these facilities were virtually undetectable. Unless you were lucky enough to run into one, you'd have to know exactly where they were. So even if I know where the facility is, how am I going to find it? I thought you found one already. Let's talk about something else. You've got my stuff? Had to be sure you weren't carrying any bugs. You were clean apart from your Mac. The transponder key had a jacked signal. Jacked? Yeah, turned up to 11, so to speak. Like a beacon. <laughs> really insecure. I turned it down. Don't mess with it. Hey, where's that device I was carrying? Oh, don't expect that back. I really need it back. We can't leave these in circulation. You can trust me. This from the guy with a jacked transponder. Please. It's harmless, really. Behind creating artificial general intelligence or replicators, it's about as illegal as you can get. My friend is on it. B, take him in. Wait, I can explain. He was trapped in a droid. Go on. A mining droid malfunctioned. When I disabled it, it kind of woke up. It was my friend from Cetus. He went missing during the war. The Lokans took people's consciousness and put them in droids? That's not right. This is worse than I thought. Can you talk to him? Yeah, through the device. Blanca, give the device back to him. But Bishop... Things have changed. He may be able to help us find a facility. Vince, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah. This thing has some kind of projection feature. Mate, it makes me feel kind of lightheaded. Sorry, Titus. I'll try to keep this brief. I feel like I've been asleep. How long was I gone? Ten years. Ten years? Did you find Julie? Any of the others? Fascinating. Cassini, is this your friend? Hey. Who are these people? Mate, these feds are looking for facilities like the one you were taken to. Feds? What have you done, Vince? Nah, mate, we're working together. Yeah? You can trust them. Okay, Vince, if you say so. That facility you were taken to, any idea where it is? Ah. Uh... Sorry, mate. I have no idea. All I can tell you is we were headed for the ring. Straight for the ring? Yeah, straight as you can get. We didn't go past it. Thanks, mate. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, no worries. See you, mate. Hey, Jet. Vince? What do you know about transponder keys? Advantages are that they're hardware encoded, the key value pair signature is unique and virtually unbreakable, and they're easy to install. Disadvantage is they're inherently noisy. If you know what signature you're looking for, you can spot one a thousand clicks away. This transponder key apparently opens a facility. Oh, this is definitely a Loken Squealer plant then. Uh... They jack the signal and seed a bunch of those on the dark net, so they could track it from anywhere in the system. Once one of them gets a squawk back, they can track it. 
I've turned yours down. But I can't guarantee they won't be alerted to your rough location if you get a squawk back from a facility. Okay, thanks. One other thing. If you get into the facility, try to find a way to change the keys out. Quick. How will I do that? Try to find the central terminal. Use your ship's key. It should be as easy as changing a fuse. Reception is terrible down here. Oh, that's us. We've got outbound transmissions locked down to only known sources. Can you unblock me? No. You don't trust me? Uh... Nothing personal, Cassini. Yeah, but don't worry. We've allowed you to receive inbound calls. Right. I'd like to know more about you. I'd rather not if it's all the same. Right. Later, Jet. Computer, show me facility locations. Showing projected facility locations. The red dot shows the first facility you found. The blue area is our potential search zone. As you can see, we still have too big an area to attack with a brute force search. Computer, end session. Entering standby. Okay then. You looking to pick up some new pieces? Arela. Shoots a bunch of stuff with paint, doesn't it? Thanks, Cassini. I just might follow up on this. Bishop? Cassini? Later, Bishop. Arela, it's Captain Cassini. Ooh, so formal. Come in, Captain. Can I ask you some more questions? Of course, Tin Man. About getting some pa- <laughs> My pleasure, man. That Tomcat is lifting some of my pieces. So you earned some cred. No questions asked. Give me a few to load them in your clunker. Hey, not a bad chip you got there, man. Though if I were you, I'd keep my helmet on. Thanks. Now don't go shooting these at your friends for fun. These rounds are still lethal against humans. I'll keep that in mind. Can I ask you some more questions? Of course, Tin Man. Thanks for your time. Ship. Nothing here. Ship. Select paint ammunition for Gatling. Switching Gatling gun ammunition to paint. Ship. Fire Gatling. Burst pattern. There she blows. Captain? Uh, it's a whale thing. Shall I call you Ishmael, Captain? Sure thing, Queen Queen. Ship. Advance to impact location.
Whoa. Bishop. It's Jay. Listen, there's been a big spike in Loken comms chatter. They've scrambled two ships to your approximate location. That transponder key cracked this facility open. Looks like they still heard the squealer. Lucky for you, I turned yours down. So they won't get an exact location. Should I prep for a fight? Not if you find a way to switch keys from the inside. How can I do that again? Try to find the central terminal. Use your ship's key. It should be as easy as changing a fuse. Right. J out. Ship. Switch to manual flight. Enabling manual flight controls. Ship, lower the cargo ramp. Lowering cargo ramp. Computer, speak the password from inside the circle. One attempt remaining before lethal lockout. Mac, what do you think lethal lockout means? An incorrect password will result in death, Captain. You sure about that? 99% sure, Captain. Status report. Investigating a second storage facility. Okay then. I remember this place, Vince. They marched us out single file. There was this strange little man. Some Larkin Buffett. He went up to the platform, spoke a password. Then they marched you to the platform and... That's all I remember. Can you remember the password for the facility computer? Leo. Leonard. Leonardo. Yeah. Leonardo. That was it. I think. Thanks. You're sure it's Leonardo? Can you remember a password that you said 10 years ago? Okay, thanks. See you, mate. Computer, speak the password from inside the circle. One attempt remaining before lethal lockout. Leonardo. Access granted. State your function. I'd like to change the transponder key. Please insert the new transponder key. Transponder key set. I'm done. Action cancelled. There are Titus Tran in there. Titus Tran, male, 25, alive. 
Would you like to retrieve Titus Tram? Yes. Retrieving Titus Tram. What can I do with this chamber? Chamber functions are status, log, and store. Status. 2,499 units in storage. One space available. Systems functioning at optimal levels. Chamber log. C. 53, 6, 27. Entry in Leonardo. I'm done. Goodbye. There doesn't seem to be any visible way to get it open. How are you feeling? Like I need a shower. Can you walk okay? Yeah, I think so. How have you been, Titus? May, can we catch up somewhere else? This place gives me the willies. Let's get you out of here. Right behind you, mate. You can't keep me here. It's just until we can find the other facilities. Vince! Look, mate. How are you going to explain where you've been the last ten years? Maybe I can say I've been held captive. And why you don't look like you've aged a day in ten years. They had me in stasis? First off, that almost never happens. Second, no one's going to back that up. You'll be shipped off to an asylum. Think so? Yeah, mate. Okay. Just till we find the other facilities. Thanks, mate. How's it going, mate? Nice view, but it sucks to see so much of Cetus underwater. Want to get out there, you know? It's just a temporary measure, Mr. Tran. What are you going to do? I need to see Trish and Dahlia. I know it's been ten years and things will be different now. But I still need to see her. Then, I don't know. Get a job? Figure out a place to stay. I know Trish would put you up. Yeah, really? She'll sort you out. No drama. What kind of job did you have in mind? No idea. What do you reckon? Living in orbit creates a lot of maintenance work. Like... A janitor or something? Yeah. And tech work, servicing equipment. Oh yeah. Dad was into that kind of thing. You think you could hook me up? Sure, mate. What was it like being a droid all those years? When I think back, 
I guess it was simple. You had a job, and you felt motivated to do it. Feels like waking from a really long dream. I keep pinching myself to make sure it's all over. See you around. Yeah, mate. Ship. Set a course for the nebula. Ten man zero. Vince. Dock three is now a beard. What can I do for you? Hello, Mrs. McGuire. You're from the Rust. What district? Yes, Captain Cassini. I am quite comfortable in District 8. Oh, we're in District 5. You'd have to walk right by us to get to the spaceport. I'll bet you know Colin. Hmm. The man talks too much. You do know him. What do you think about Colin? You are alike. Oh, come on. So, do you like living in the rust? It's not Cetus. That it ain't. I will get back home one day. You can count on it. Can I make an appointment? Captain Cassini will be in touch next week if something opens up. I'll be back. Hmm. Hey, Colin. What's new, Captain? You know a woman named Dorothy McGuire? Oh, yes, Dorothy McGuire from District 8. Very busy woman. Always walking through in such a hurry. First generation Seton family. Suffered losses during the war. Nice job at that new Nebula Ventura refinery. What do you know about Dorothy McGuire's family? You know, Vince, I don't want to gossip. What? Captain, you see those young men over there? The kids? The minute I take my eyes off them. I'll be up to no good. Maybe you could get them to move along. It would be really helpful if you could tell me anything you know about Dorothy McGuire's family. Oh, Captain, my memory is not what it used to be. I can't think straight with those kids plotting over there. I'm sure they'd listen to you, Captain. What do you know about those kids over there? Sock and Hebo's parents have stalls in the spaceport market. Nice people, hard working. Though, if they spent more time with their kids, maybe... Careful, mate. Oh. 
I didn't mean to offend. See you around, Colin. Keep me posted, Captain. Boys? Hey! Hey, Captain! Your parents know you're here? Yeah, of course. Always looking out for us. They have that market stall in the port, right? Be happy to pay them a visit. Nah, man, Captain. No need to bother them. If you need to tell them anything, you just let me know. Do you think you could hang out somewhere else? Oh, yeah, we... We were leaving anyways, Captain. Oh, Captain Cassini. I just remembered something about Dorothy. Right. Hey, Colin. What's new, Captain? Colin, what can you tell me about Dorothy McGuire's family? Captain, this information seems important to you. Mind telling me why you need to know? You can trust old Colin, Captain. I'm looking into the Seton disappearances. The Seton disappearances? Colin! The Seton disappearances? Yes, Colin. Can I trust you not to talk about this? Don't worry, Captain. I won't tell anyone you're investigating the seat and disappearances. How can I help? What do you know about Dorothy McGuire's family? Oh, large family. Second of five. Her husband, uh, I forgot his name, killed during the war. Her daughter, uh, Magdalen. Yes, that's it. She went missing. So many people did, you know. That's all she talked about, really. Says the orbital police never looked for her. So she's not too fond of your lot, I'm afraid. Well, that explains a few things. Glad to be of service, Captain. See you around, Colin. Keep me posted, Captain. Dad, I made something for you. Is this a new picture? It's you and me, fighting bad guys in space. <gasps> That's great, mate. I can't wait to put it up in the ship. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, Trish. Vince? How's things? Don't bother, Vince. Trish, I'm working with the Federation. The Federation? W what? They're investigating the Seton disappearances. Nebula Ventura is involved. Oh, uh, uh, is it dangerous? I can't say any more, but you have to promise me you won't tell anyone. I promise, Vince. Thanks for telling me. How are the boys? They're there. Ask them. How's Dahlia doing? Ask her yourself. See you, Trish. Vince? Hey, Dahlia. You feeling okay? Uh, yeah, just a little wobbly. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? I'll be fine. What happened at the arcade? I was hanging out in the arcade when suddenly there was this big bang. There was a hole in the glass and this huge rush. Everyone ran for the elevator and the emergency doors shut, but I tripped. I panicked and jumped into the pod. You're very lucky those can hold one atmosphere. They can? <laughs> okay, that's good, I guess. See you, Dahlia. Bye, Vince. Hey, Sammy. 
Hey, Dad. Shoot. What can I do for you, Cap? Hello, Mrs. Maguire. Do you have a daughter called Magdalene? Magda? Don't you see her name? Mrs. Maguire, please. We all lost people. You never looked for her. I know what you're going through. I lost my wife. Oh, I... Listen. It would really help with my investigation if I could talk to your boss. Of course. <clears throat> Hold on. <sniffs> Mr. Volkov, I have Captain Vincent Cassini here to see you. Yes, that's right. Oh, yes. I'll let him know. Thank you, Mr. Volkov. Mr. Volkov will see you as soon as you're ready. Denko, Mr. Volkov is expecting Captain Cassini. Ma'am. I'll be back. Farewell, Captain. Drop your things in the little box, then stand under the scanner. Okay. The Mac as well. Mac, stay here. Yes, Captain. Good. Call boss. Sir, Captain Cassini here to see you. Greetings. I'm Vasily Volkov. Captain Cassini, is it? Yeah. I was not expecting police visit. I trust everything is still in order. You mind if I take a look around? I'd like nothing more than to show you around. But the refinery is a dangerous place. Wouldn't want you falling into a pool of molten metal, would we? <laughs> Maybe you would like to come back next week, when we clean things up a bit. What's your role in all this? Ha <laughs> I'm the boss. I make sure the whole operation doesn't fall apart. Metal keeps flowing. Shareholders stay happy. Nice office you've got here. I like to keep things neat and orderly. Just a few simple pleasures to remind me of home. I see you've got a Mac as well. Can't do a damn thing without them these days. Don't want to get chipped either, eh? At my age, who could be bothered? What's your excuse? Those things can make you see, hear, feel, even taste. Things that aren't there. Can't say I trust them. Oh, but they are safe now. Not like the old days. I'll stick with reality, thanks. Looks like you've got some wartime weapons there. Ah, yes. An unfortunate moment in history. Did you serve? I take it you served? We all serve, but only a few get to choose how we serve. 
Quite a collection of bottles you got there. One of life's small pleasures. What's your poison? Ah, uh, been trying to stay dry. Oh, that's stuff. Have you ever tried a single malt scotch from Earth? Can't say I have. It's like honey from the sun. I'd offer you some, but I had some trouble with my last shipment. What kind of trouble? Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. What happened with that scotch? Oh, some trouble with customs coming through your spaceport. That might have ended up at the department. Probably long gone by now then. Well, I should be going. Before you go, please accept this brochure as a token of my thanks for keeping the peace. Okay, sure. Thanks. See you later, Captain Cassini. Hey, Bob. Hey, Vince. We didn't seize any scotch recently, did we? Hmm, let's see. As a matter of fact, we did. Passenger coming off a warp from Earth, trying to smuggle it in without paying the duty. Mind if I take it off your hands? I don't know, hon. The heat comes down on me if anyone comes looking for it. I can't explain why, but it's really important I get it. I'm sorry, Vince. This ain't like the old days. We've got checks and balances now. You don't have to do anything. Just look the other way. That room is key to me, Vince. I'm the one that takes the heat if anything disappears. I need this to get in with a bigwig at Nebula Ventura. Why would you need to do that? I'm working with the feds on the Seton disappearances. Oh, Vince. What are you doing? I've seen the bodies. They're real. This have something to do with those art collectors down on Cetus? I can't really say. Okay, hun. I'm putting my neck out for you. Not to mention what's left of this department's reputation. So don't go making it a regular event. It's in the back, locker 24. I'll buzz it out for you. See you, Bob. Don't be a stranger. Drop your things in the- I've got something for your boss. Scotch. From Earth. Drop your things in the leather box. Come on, mate. It's a pretty rare bottle of scotch. Your boss is going to love this. Nothing goes up. Let me get this straight, mate. I bring your boss a bottle of E-1957 single malt scotch. There's maybe ten of these left in the entire universe. You want me to go up and tell him? Denko made me put it in the little box downstairs. After he makes you bring it up, tell me. How does he feel about you? What if you drop it? Just the bottle. Okay. I'll wait here, Captain. Good. Call boss. Sir, Captain Cassini here to see you. Greetings again, Captain Cassini. 
I happened to find this bottle of scotch in our lockup. Maybe it's yours. Mmm, my 1957 single malt scotch. I must command you on this find. Don't mention it. You simply must try it with me. I'd love to, but I'm on duty. Oh, I'm sure you can make an exception. This is a piece of history here. I'd rather not, if it's all the same to you. But I really must insist. Can't, mate. Sorry. Oh, that really is a shame. Well, I should be going. See you later, Captain Cassini. Tom. Cassini, do you have something to report? The bug is in place. Jet is on it, Cassini. Nice work. We'll be in touch. Bishop out. Call Tom. Cassini. I picked up a stasis chamber. It might be from Facility 4. See if you can get it to another facility to find out more about it. Copy that. Call the department. Rust Police Department. Hey, Bob. Did you need something, Vince? Just checking in. Nothing urgent right now. Later, Bob. Setting call. Ship, set a course for Facility 1. Full speed. Setting course, Facility 1. Engines to full power.
Ship, set the atmospheric pressure to zero percent. Setting atmospheric pressure to zero percent. No need to lower the ramp now. No need to lower the ramp now. No need to lower the ramp now. Ship, set the up. Setting up. No need. Call the refinery. Nebula. It's got. Have you. I'm. Please. Ma'am. Call the real. Hey, dear. I had a few more questions. Save them for the. Holla at the. Ship. 
ship. Scanners detect no significant ship. Topi. No need. Ship. Back you go. Ship. Switch to manual flight. Enabling manual flight controls. Ship. Unable to atmospheric pressure inside ship. Ship. Setting. Ship. Time to squawk Logan. Catch him. I'll leave it here until I... Compatible chamber detected. Chamber out of docking range. Right. Docking successful. Felicia Yang, female, 43, alive. Vince. Jet? Bug, come over here. That's impossible. 
I don't have a bug. I'll get it off his body. Quickly, it must have been something you obtained since you were here last. It's just a beetle. Since when did you think taking presents from Lokans was a good idea, Cassini? You've seen this. If it was anything else, I'd have had B put a bullet in you. But this, this is just stupid. Oh, right. Hey, Jet. Vince? Later. Computer, show me facility locations. Showing projected facility locations. Computer, end session. Entering standby. 